हेलो ऑल माय नेम इज कृष्णाक एंड वेलकम टू माय ब्लॉगिंग चैनल सो गाइस अनदर डेटा साइंस जनरल क्यू एंड ए वीडियो यस्टरडे आई वाज टेकिंग अ लाइव क्यू एंड ए सेशन एंड मेनी पीपल वर ट्राइंग टू आस्क एंड दिस वर लाइक बोथ फ्रेशर्स एंड एक्सपीरियंस पीपल सेइंग दैट क्रिश आई एम एक्सपीरियंस आई एम सेवन इयर्स एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट शुड आई राइट ओके क्रिश आई एम अ फ्रेशर व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट यू शुड राइट ओके नाउ आई रियली वांट टू मेक दिस स्पेसिफिक वीडियो बिकॉज last year uh, in my previous company in panasonic i used to take lot of interviews with respect to data science position in analytics right so uh, i saw one of the resume one of the candidate resume it had actually come and he was learning data science from past 6 to 7 months you know and there uh, he had actually written a project name you just imagine what project he had actually written he had written titanic data set project okay and probably he was somewhere around 2.5 years of experience he was working in the retail domain itself okay and he had written the project called as titanic data set in his resume now understand one thing guys if you don't have any idea uh, probably if you are also confused like what should i write in my resume what kind of projects please make sure that you watch this video till the end okay then what i did is that i just took his resume i asked him what what is this particular project why you have written this particular project what kind of work did you do with this particular project in your company how this project was useful in your company now when i asked him this many questions he 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 just said that no it is just my practice projects uh, you know uh, while i was learning data set then i made him clearly understand okay see i i was a recruiter over there i was taking interviews then i told him that see this is not how you should basically write the project now you are working in a retail domain right from past two and a half years and you are giving a titanic data set project so there is a complete mismatch i don't have any projects you take it from kaggle you take it from any kind of uh, you know uh, platforms probably right in kaggle also you have multiple projects but at least take the project which is on your domain now this is the question that many people ask krish i want to switch from mechanical domain to uh, data science domain now tell me what kind of projects you should basically put up you know and the right answer can be answered by you only guys because you are in that specific domain you may be a mechanical engineer you may be in the in uh, you you may be in the commerce domain itself you you may be in the e-commerce work you may be a person who is working in marketing domain by studying mba right and after learning data science you should come up with the thoughts that what kind of projects i can implement in that specific domain okay unless and until you are not a fresher right if you are a fresher you can write any projects because probably after engineering okay now there may be also scenarios there where people who are doing electrical engineering electronics engineering they want to switch into data science now what kind of project they should write they are freshers they should try to see how they can apply data science in their field and there are so many use cases my guys that people can come up with you know not only this people who are doing their masters in physics you know chemistry they also are learning data science and they are learning because they want to apply that data science knowledge in their specific field not in general to solve a specific use case now if you try to learn in this way probably initially you need to learn the generic data science things later on if you come up with use case that matches your field you will be able to tell the recruiter many things first of all you are an expertise in that specific domain in whichever you are working probably you may be an electrical engineer mechanical engineer right you may be in any domain itself right you have that field knowledge and now you are applying data science knowledge into it now this is the same thing i tell to all the experience people now suppose there is a person who is doing from 7 years automation testing using selenium right now what he should do with this particular data science thing with and in data science if i talk about machine learning we also create models and that model is actually doing some kind of automation right so automation he was doing with selenium now he has to see that how he can use this data science and do the same automation you know probably that automation may be with respect to prediction with respect to testing with respect to anything now he should think of this specific use case now there is a person who is probably working in hr domain right in hr probably the best use case is recruitment and there are so many use cases that are available with respect to recruitment you'll also be able to get the data set you take that particular entire thing convert that into an end to end project after learning data science and then only you will be able to tell the recruiter that recruiter what he is seeing he is seeing he also knows he also knows and according to the gartner survey also guys 
hardly 6 to 7 percentage of our companies are using ai now and in the upcoming 5 years this percentage is going to go to 24% and the recruiter also knows that they are not many people who are learning data science probably who knows how to develop an end to end project they have that specific idea because data science is becoming popular in the recent days probably in a, around 3 to 4 years right and they will be coming a lot of requirements and for that you have to prove them that okay you can actually do that specific work because data science work is very critical guys if you just it's not about model building right if, or if even though you're just creating a model that model may actually uh, lead to a loss of revenue for the entire company if it is not created well so they really need to know that how you're applying data science in the domain that you are in you are a fresher you're working in computer science you can select any domain you are a mechanical engineer probably pr planning to make a transition towards data science try to see how you can apply in your domain See guys, in Kaggle also you have lot of projects like deep learning projects uh, was there with respect to one of the mechanical domain. Many projects will be there, uh, projects with respect to computer vision and many more things. So what I'm trying to say, your previous experience will always count and always try to learn data science in such a way that you'll be able to apply in that specific domain. So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe the channel, guys. Uh, this is my vlogging channel. Please do make sure that you subscribe it, and I'll be uploading similar kind of videos more and more. So I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, one and all. Bye bye.